If you're looking for the best electric fuel pumps here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the seventh position of our list, we have Holly 12427 Fuel Pump. It's time we tip our hat to yet another contender with over 100 years of experience. In the eyes of many, Holly Performance is the best in the business when it comes to fuel delivery. So, it's only natural for it to be a supplier of fuel pumps. This particular pump stands out from many based on looks alone. It has a robust design you know will stand up to severe abuse. But, looks aren't everything. As for performance, this pump will work with operating pressures of 4 to 7 psi, which is perfect for carburetted applications with up to 300 horsepower. It's also self-priming and self-regulating to ensure the absolute best reliability you could expect. And because it comes with a filter and mounting hardware, you stand to simplify installation. With that said, there are a few things to dislike about this particular offering. For one, it's really loud. Once the engine is running, you won't notice it, but you should know that up front. And for the same price, you can purchase a more inclusive pump with slightly better performance. Next at number 6 we have Unita Electric Fuel Pump. Here we have a great pump with a middle-of-the-road price point for an inline pump. The most notable difference between this and many of the others is its square design. And while that may appear aesthetic, it may be desirable if space dictates it. But under the square housing, you'll find a system that offers respectable performance. This pump is compatible with gas and diesel and can provide operating pressures of 4.5 to 7 psi. Aside from performance, that price point gets you a few essentials. It comes with the necessary fittings you need to hook it up and even includes a filter to save you an additional expense. As for drawbacks, it seems reliability is a shaky subject for the pump. While most reviews indicate it has plenty of life in it, others state it will die in just a few months. And though the pricing might soften the blow, it's still worth knowing it might be short-lived. The number 5 position is held by Carter P4070 inline electric fuel pump. With over 100 years of experience, it's only natural to include Carter on our list. This pump is an excellent example of what one stands to learn when they've been around a time or two. While it may be another universal pump, it has a few features that set it apart from many others. For one, that mounting bracket makes a massive difference in the installation process. Rather than struggling to find or fabricate a mounting location, you just put the bracket where you need to for the pump to be in the proper position. There's a lot to love about the thoughtful design features of this particular fuel pump, and the 4 to 6 psi operating pressure makes it an excellent choice for any carburetted application. The price is relatively high for a pump like this, but it's worth it for all that it comes with. But, you do need to be careful with the factory mounting studs. They're a little weaker than many might expect and tend to fail relatively easily. The number 4 position is dominated by Yanita Low Pressure Inline Fuel Pump. Little engines need some loving too. Here we have an excellent pump for small engine powered machinery that doesn't rely on gravity for fuel delivery. It's super affordable and perfectly capable of aiding these applications. The pump itself has an operating pressure of 2.5 to 4 psi, features a built-in bracket, and has a pigtail for simple installation. That pigtail also helps to create a waterproof seal that you need on any form of equipment. And because it can work with gas and diesel, there are many uses for it. That low price point is perfect for someone looking to create a liquid transfer system. Like any low-dollar pump, you can expect some drawbacks. While it doesn't seem to have as many reliability issues as direct competitors, it is something to be aware of. It's also worth noting it's pretty noisy despite how small it is. Moving on to the next at number 3 with AEM 50 to 1200 E85 in-tank fuel pump. If you intend to run ethanol, methanol, and gasoline, you have to check this pump out. It's a universal in-tank pump that you can use to work with many of your factory components. 
That's a big plus for anyone who needs to save money while chasing big power. And as you may already expect, the overall price tag seriously kills much of the competition. That said, this pump is compatible with naturally aspirated and forced induction EFI systems on engines producing up to 1,000 horsepower. Again, it's a universal pump, but it is meant to work with most applications, and it comes with virtually everything you'll need to get up and running. As with the other entry from AEM, this isn't the most simple pump to install. You will need to tear down the factory sending unit to get this in place. Furthermore, some applications will require slight modifications. But that's part of the deal when saving a ton of money on such a capable pump. The number two position is held by JDM Speed Universal 12V Heavy Duty Electric Fuel Pump. Not everyone's running a supercharged EFI monster, and electric fuel pumps aren't reserved solely for that purpose. Here we have the polar opposite of that kind of pump, and it just so happens to be the most affordable one we can find. This little pump is a perfect quick fix for anyone that needs the most basic pump for the most basic job. It's universal and will work with gasoline or diesel, and has an output pressure rating of 3 to 6 psi. Installation is made simple with the integrated mounting bracket and the pigtail for the power supply. Furthermore, it has easy-to-read indicators of the flow to prevent any issues with setup. As you might guess from the price, this pump isn't something you'll want to use on anything serious and has some serious concerns regarding its reliability. But when it comes to simply getting the boat up and running or temporary use in a car, it should do just fine. Finally the number one position is dominated by AEM 50 to 1000 high flow in tank fuel pump. Our top pick goes to a pump that works with electronic fuel injection systems. It's an in-tank design meant to make for the neatest possible finished product and is designed explicitly to work with most applications. Best of all, this bad boy will work with naturally aspirated and forced induction applications and can support over 1,000 horsepower. But despite being in league with many other high-dollar pumps, it reserves a relatively low price point. It lists for hundreds less than similarly capable units. This pump is not a plug-and-play setup, but it does come with pretty much everything you need to get it up and running as quickly as possible. Seeing that this is a universal in-tank pump and works with the factory sending unit, it's not the most simple to install. Its installation process is quite a bit more extensive than most others. Some reviews even indicate small modifications are necessary, depending on the application. However, that is something to anticipate due to the design. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.